Hi, you might notice that gin's in a bit of a uh, bit of a revival at the moment. Lots of gins going around, lots of new gins, new tonics, all those sorts of things. But I'm going to run through how to make a straightforward, good gin and tonic. Believe it or not, there's a few little tricks to it. Step one: a full glass of ice. You have a full glass of ice when you make your gin and tonic. The ice will mount more slowly, and you'll get more flavour of gin rather than rather than water. So, full glass of ice. Next step, decent gin. You can't make a good gin and tonic without good gin. We're using Cotswolds today because my favorite, it's just really good quality stuff. So, a double measure. You can't have a gin and tonic with a single measure. All the way to the top. And then of course, good quality tonic. It's quite a good tip to have your tonic chilled as well. If the tonic is chilled, again, the ice will stay ice for longer. Now, when you go to a bar, they often give you a whole one of these. You don't need to use a whole one. Uh, probably about two thirds. I tend to use a half, to be honest. And fill your glass nearly to the top. You might have noticed I'm also using one of these highball glasses rather than these uh, big sort of bowl shaped ones. It means that the tonic is gonna stay fizzier for longer. And of course, we need some lime, we need some citrus. So. For me, I use uh, one, oh, two. Well, you might see where this is going. I use quite a few limes. So I use four, four sections, so half a lime. And with my last one, I like to just put it right around the rim. So in that goes as well. You can give, give it a little bit of a stir. Just get those uh, pieces of lime right down there. It's peasy. And in goes the straw. That's my version of gin and tonic. Hope you enjoy it.